Nokwika is a quiet little village at the R285. The Boyle River, a right-hand tributary of the Shannon, flows through it. Parking is good by the bridge, access is also possible here and the bank angler will love this stretch because a gravel road runs all along it. There are some very promising looking places just above Nokwika. This section of the Boyle River is part of Waterways Ireland and you will encounter cabin cruises, particularly during the summer season. Clarendon Lock at Nokwika is the only lock between Boyle and the Shannon River. That means there's not much of a slope here, landscapes are relatively even and the river flows slowly. This is typical coarse fish territory. <laughs> Mr. Rüdiger Troutman and I want to fish the Boyle River between Nokwika and Coot Hall. It is the middle of August, not the best time to oh, yeah. catch pike, but we can manage to get a few anyway. Most of them are not very big, but it is really lively fishing today. Boah, what a monster! Give him to me and I'll bring him in for you. <laughs> Unbelievable, but there's fish in here. <laughs> this is not a straightforward bit of river. It widens at some places, looking almost lake-like. At other points it is very narrow and overgrown. In any case, it is an adventure and great joy fishing this stretch of the Boyle River. Schöner Fisch. Very good. Another one. Warum? Warum denn auch die drei? Komm. Wupp. Ah, ist schon weg. Another one bites the dust. Ja, also. Small, but fish. But, but fish? Ja, also diese. Ha, bravo. Okay. Oh, boah! Boah! Sagenhaft! Best fishing in the world! Also, look at this! Yeah! I'll grab him for you. Na also geht's nicht, na also. Ja? Only a few kilometers to the south of Nokwika is Darin Lake. A small parking area beside the R285 is the closest you'll get to it by car. From here it is a walk of about 15 minutes through the woods. When in doubt, keep left and you will eventually find Darin Lake also to your left. Fishing is directly from the bank, but there are some stands as well. Rüdiger and I tried to catch a pike, but did not succeed. And this was just one day after we had so many fish in the Boyle River. There you are, that's angling. More or less opposite of Doreen Lake, on the other side of the road, the R285, is Little Finloch. Parking is again just at the side of the road. 
Finloch is completely reed fringed and there is only one concrete stand to the left. It is possible, but not that easy, to launch a boat from the narrow gravel road. However, I think this would be an ideal lake for a belly boat or a flow tube. Coot Hall can be regarded a large village or small town. It lies a bit further down the Boyle River from Nogvika. There are a few pubs and bars, a restaurant and a marina in Coot Hall. It is possible to launch a boat just below the bridge and there are some fishing stands here also. Just beside Coot Hall, on the other side of the bridge, so to speak, is Oakport Loch. That is a mid-size, rather shallow lake with all the signs of a good pike and perch water. There is a big parking area at the boat slip. The bank angler finds some good spots here around the pier. However, Mr. Troutman and I want to fish Oakport Loch from the boat. Again, we can't come up with a big one but managed to catch a few good perch and pike. What's more important, we have fun on Oakport Loch. Oh, come on to the schöner. Schöner Basch. Hey, wunderbar. <laughs> Gut gemacht, Dietrich. Good. Oh yeah. Oh. Very good of it. Very good, man. Very good. A wee pikey, Mr. Troutman. Aber immerhin.